Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be going over the energy dashboard in Home Assistant. And if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link below to my Home Assistant playlist where you can find my other Home Assistant videos. So I currently collect energy data from a couple of different sources. I currently read my electrical and gas meters wirelessly. And then I'll also, I use the CASA smart outlets with energy monitoring. And I'll put specific links below to the videos I have on those technologies if you want to check those out, as I'll be using those in this video. So I'll click over here on the left on energy. And we have a little energy setup wizard. We're on step one of six. So I'm just going to be focusing on consumption in this video. But if you have solar, you can set that up here. So I'm going to hit add consumption. And here it wants me to choose a sensor. So I'll click the drop down and I will type kilowatt. And it came up here with kilowatt hours. So this is my power meter. Now this can track the cost. So I'm going down here to the use static price and I'll enter in my price per kilowatt hour. Now I don't know if this is exact, but it's probably pretty close. So it's about 12 cents. Now in the winter time, I'm on a tiered system, so I can have reduced rates at certain times, but I'm not using this to pay a bill. It's just to give me a general idea. So I'll hit save here. So I'll hit next down here. Here you can enter in information about solar panels, home battery storage, and here we have gas consumption. So I'll add a gas source. I'll type cubic, and here we have cubic feet. I'll go down here to static price. So this one is a little tricky as I'm building therms but I did some calculations, so I don't know how accurate this is, but I'll enter it in anyway. I'll hit save, next, and then you can enter in water, and I'll hit show me my energy dashboard. So the money thing's not super important to me. I just would like to see charts with how much energy I'm using. So here we have our energy usage, our gas consumption, and then at the top we can say day, week, month, year. So now if you want to edit this, what you can do is go to settings, and then dashboards, and then click on energy. And here we have the different sections we saw in that wizard. Now, if I scroll down here, I can go to individual devices and I'll hit add device. I'll hit the little drop down. And here we can see the different things I have set up on the CASA smart meters with energy monitoring. So let's add in the washing machine. So I'm going to do the total consumption. I'll hit save. Let's add in a bunch of these. The dryer total consumption, Mac mini total consumption, I think that's good enough. So now let's go back over to the dashboard. And if I scroll down, we can see the different devices here. So over time, this will collect data and I can look at my energy usage. And since this is coming from my power meter, it's showing all of the usage. So if I were looking at a solar system for my house, I could maybe use this to help guess how much solar I need to put on my house. Now, if we're looking at the individual devices, if I had one on a refrigerator here, I could look and see how much my refrigerator uses. And then maybe I'm looking at a backup generator or something and I can see how much energy that uses or maybe a backup battery and see how much battery or generator I need to run those devices. So that's setting up the energy dashboard on Home Assistant. And again, if you're interested in this stuff, I'd highly recommend my video on pulling data down from the power meter and the gas meter, and then also the CASA outlet with the energy monitoring. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.